You might have heard of the seven deadly sins, but do you know of the nine circles of hell? Simply put, it's an extension of the seven deadly sins, explained in a poet's personal perception. The concept of the nine circles of hell comes from Dante Alighieri's epic poem, The Divine Comedy. In the poem, Dante takes readers on a journey through hell, purgatory, and heaven, guided by the poet Virgil. The poem's version of hell is divided into nine circles, each reserved for souls guilty of specific sins. The circles are organized in the shape of a funnel, with the worst sins and penalties at the bottom. So no pun intended, but let's get to the bottom of it. The first circle is limbo, where the unbaptized and the virtuous pagans reside, and those who never knew Christ exists. Dante encounters Ovid, Homer, Socrates, Aristotle, Julius Caesar, and more here. The second circle is lust, which punishes individuals who give in to their carnal urges. Dante meets Achilles, Paris, Tristan, Cleopatra, and Dido, among other characters. Gluttony is the third circle, when the overindulgent suffer perpetual hunger and thirst. Dante meets ordinary individuals here, not epic poetry heroes or mythological gods. Greed is the fourth circle, when the avaricious and prodigal are punished. Dante meets many regular people as well as the circle's protector Pluto, the fabled lord of the underworld. The fifth circle is anger, which torments those who succumb to their fury and violence. When Dante and Virgil attempt to enter through the walls, they are confronted by the Furies. The sixth circle is heresy, which condemns people who hold views antithetical to the church. This is the first circle to be divided into sub-circles or rings. There are three of them, the outer, middle, and inner rings, each of which houses a distinct sort of violent criminal. The first are individuals who have been aggressive towards persons and property. Centaurs patrol the outer ring, shooting arrows at its occupants. Those who commit violence against themselves, suicide, are in the middle ring. Harpies are constantly devouring these sinners. Blasphemers, or people who are aggressive against God and nature, make up the inner ring. The eighth circle is fraud, with ten pouches, each for a specific type of fraud. Treachery is the ninth and the deepest circle of hell, where Satan dwells. This circle, like the previous two, is divided into four rounds. The first is Cana, named after the biblical Cain who murdered his brother. This round is for family traitors. The second, Antonora, is reserved for political national traitors. Ptolemy, son of Abubus, is infamous for inviting Simon Maccabeus and his sons to supper, and then killing them. Next, the third round is for hosts who betray their visitors. They are punished more harshly, since it is believed that having guests signifies entering into a chosen connection, and betraying a freely joined relationship is more disgusting than betraying a born into relationship. Judeca is the fourth round, named after Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Christ. This round is for those who have betrayed their lords, benefactors, or masters. The subdivisions, like the preceding circle, have their own demons and penalties. Dante and Virgil arrive in the center of hell after traveling all nine circles. They come face to face with Satan, who is characterized as a three-headed beast. Each mouth is busy devouring a different person. The left mouth is devouring Brutus, the right mouth is devouring Cassius, and the center mouth is devouring Judas Iscariot. Julius Caesar was betrayed and murdered by Brutus and Cassius, whereas Christ was betrayed and murdered by Judas. According to Dante, these are the greatest sinners since they knowingly committed acts of treason against their lords, who were chosen by God. Did you find this story interesting? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time with another intriguing mythological find. Till then, stay mythical.